Happy Friday, everybody. Welcome in to My Sweet Home Living. Tracy Campbell here. Whew. Thank you for your patience. I'm running a few minutes. <laughs> I'm running a few minutes behind. I told you guys I'd be here at 9 o'clock. It's 9.02 Central Time on a Friday morning. You all come on in and tell me good morning if you're watching live. And if not, if you're watching the replay, uh, that's fine too. Just glad that you're here. Um, I've got something, oh, experimental today. <laughs> If you guys uh, will hold on just a second, I'll show you some of the things we got spread out here. We're crafting in the kitchen today because things could get a little messy. We'll see. We'll see. Good morning, Miss Donna. Good morning, Miss Brenda. How are you guys? I hope you're doing well. Oh, it's Friday, you guys. Um, I saw you guys twice last Friday and um, had a busy week. Hope you all had an amazing week as well. Good morning, Miss Stephanie, Diane, Teresa, how are you? Um, I feel like my lighting is a little bit weird today. Um, I don't know, it's not quite as sunny today as it was last Friday, but I think I, I had to pull in an extra light and it's like throwing, there we go, throwing my color balance off a little bit. Good morning, Miss Pammy, Shannon, enjoy, how are you? Good morning, Misty. Oh, cold weather's coming here in Kentucky uh, after Sunday. It's going to get cold in the 40s and in the 20s. And we're hanging on to the last few days of summer. I don't know if you've seen some of my butterflies and flowers. I mean, they are just, they're just hugging at my heartstrings. I walked out this morning at 830 and already still had a butterfly outside. And I'm thinking, you got to hurry on. Get on out of here. <laughs> They have no idea, I guess, that it's about to turn cold. Good morning, Miss Maggie. Good morning. I'm so happy to see you guys, too. Good morning, Miss Joy and Patricia. You guys, are you ready to, for me to show you what we're going to be working with today? Now, total disclaimer. This is not an original idea of mine. This is something that has been around for um, quite a while. <laughs> But I've never actually seen anybody do it on a video, per se, to show you how to do it. Um, and so we're kind of winging it today and uh, using some of the supplies that I've already had on hand that I kind of need to continue using up because, as you all know, my house is on the market and I'm trying to be careful with bringing in new things because I have every craft supply under the sun tucked away in drawers and cabinets and bags and some things I can find and some things I can't so I was trying to think of something that I could do today using up some supplies that I already have on hand right and then using some things that I already have around the house so hopefully this will give you all some inspiration too and this is a project that you can um, create decorate across the seasons throughout the year so I don't know. Here goes. Are y'all ready to see what we're going to be using? Good morning, Miss Kristen Nibby from South Carolina. We're so excited that you're here. Okay. Um, I'll just show you. I'll show you the weird object that we're using today. Are you ready? Everybody has it in their home. Everybody. Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully everybody has it in their home. Um, and if you ever run out of it, you're probably in panic mode. Any guesses? Any guesses? <laughs> you may have seen it in my video description. Oh my gosh, you guys, we're using toilet paper. <laughs> and I just happen to have some extra toilet paper. Whew, thank goodness, right? <laughs> uh, we're using toilet paper today. And um, we're using some leftover wax. So, you know, about a couple of months ago, well, maybe a month ago, um, I used some beeswax and we created some beeswax um, corn cob pieces let me show you I'll jog your memory here here we go this is what we created we took uh, <clears throat> excuse me dried corn cobs and we wax dipped them and coated them with cinnamon and spices and then tied some or tied some sweet ante around them put them in a dough bowl with a grain scoop and some of these little, uh, let me see if I can get it, those little putka pods. This has been one of my favorite things that I've made this fall. And I freshen it up with a, a few uh, drops of like uh, candle scented oils or things like that. But it smells amazing. I totally just like kissed the bowl there. Got lip, lipstick on the bowl. Good morning, Miss Elizabeth. Good morning. So I 
put this on the counter to, to show you guys. And then last week, I don't know if you all watched last week. So we had two episodes. But one of the episodes we did last Friday, we recreated. Well, we created. Let me flip my camera around, you guys. Um, this amazing, grungy coffee jar. And I showed you guys some tips and tricks and shortcuts that I use to create some jar things. Um, and a little mini grubby jar. We did that last week at, uh, on one of the episodes. So if you missed last Friday's two episodes, you might want to go back and watch them. There was some good, good stuff on there. Okay, so this week, I still had some of that beeswax left over. Let me grab an oven mitt because this might be a little warm. Um, we used some of that beeswax on those corn cobs. And so I had some left over. And I thought, I need to use it. Okay, that's not hot. I just... Just kidding, I thought it was gonna be hot. Um, and so I had some of that leftover beeswax and I thought, what can I use it on? What can I do? And so I go scouring and looking for inspiration and ideas and um, come across these toilet paper uh, candles, if you will. Now there's lots of variations, don't get me wrong. There's tons of different ways you could do this. Um, and you don't even have to use toilet paper. You could use like a, uh, just a regular pillar candle if you want. But we're gonna use toilet paper today. <laughs> we're gonna use toilet paper. We're gonna give it a try. We're gonna see if it works. Uh, and if not, you guys can learn from my mistakes. And if it doesn't completely work, then we'll redo it <laughs> on another live. So if you're watching this today and you're thinking, oh, I'm gonna make this, you might wanna fast forward to the end and see how this turns out later <laughs> before you give it a whirl. So stick with me today. All right, so I have taken just a regular roll of toilet paper. Nothing unfamiliar to you, right? I have taken one. Let me put some rubber gloves on, and I'll show you why. <laughs> I've already kind of dirtied up my hands this morning with black paint. I took some just basic, basic, generic black spray paint. The, the cheapest that you can get, black spray paint, okay? And I just sprayed a roll of toilet paper about 30 minutes ago. In fact, it may not even be completely dry, okay? Spray painted a roll of toilet paper. So if you've never seen spray painted roll of toilet paper, here you go. <laughs> All right, so there's the bottom. Didn't worry about the bottom. I just gave it a quick spray paint. And what I did before I started, I took my finger and in this center piece, I'll show you on this, this white roll real quick. I took my finger and I kind of just rolled the inside of that tubing down just a little bit okay just a little bit to kind of give it a curved shape inward okay that's all you gotta do okay like I said this is the first time I've done this this is not <laughs> I have not experimented with this and I uh, see good morning Miss Kathy uh, good morning Miss Blakely and so uh, y'all are giving it a go with me <laughs> we don't know how it's gonna turn out Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do, I have a, a cookie sheet, just a cheapo cookie sheet. In fact, it's like a grilling sheet. Um, and I lined it with uh, like parchment paper, freezer paper on the top, okay? And that way when I get back and forth from dipping to drying, it's gonna sit on this, okay? So I'm gonna set this over here we're not going to need this right now. That was for plan B if this doesn't work out. <laughs> so let's scoot this down. I want you guys to be able to see really good. Good morning, Miss Kathy. Good morning, Miss Rula. Uh, the whole row. Yes, the whole row. <laughs> now you could use a smaller row, but I want a big chunky candle. And um, it's not gonna be a candle that you light, but it will actually have a light on it. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna tie that in. Hopefully, fingers crossed, if it all works out, in the end, we'll have an electric version of a uh, grubby cake candle, maybe, or grubby toilet paper candle. I don't know what you wanna call it. <laughs> I don't know what you wanna call it. We'll have to make up our own name for it. There's a good morning. Good morning, Miss June. So glad you're here. All right. We're going all in, and I'm going to have to turn this up a little bit. So what I do with my uh, wax, you could put your wax in a crock pot, um, but I don't like the idea of having the big crock pot all go to waste for wax, right? So what I do is I put my wax in one of these metal throwaway pans, right? Uh, the smaller, the better. That way it kind of keeps your wax together, and you've got a little bit more depth to it. 
uh, and I lay it on top of my griddle and it just warms it up nicely all right and then when I'm done this will harden and I can just pick this up and store it which is what I've done since our last project uh, I can just store it until the next time I'm ready to use it I don't have to wash it I don't have to you know store a crock pot just for candle wax or anything like that okay uh, and it's worked really well so far so I, I have grabbed the beeswax I get that at Hobby Lobby it goes on sale periodically it comes in a big chunk just lay that big chunk in here, let it melt slowly because you might want to look it up. Beeswax does have a burning point. I can't remember what it is, um, but you'll want to make sure that you know what that is so that you don't overheat and actually burn it, okay? Um, so check into that before you use it. Uh, and then I used some coloring blocks that are also from Hobby Lobby in the same section that you can get the beeswax. I apologize, you guys, my nose is tickling like I have a feather on it. <laughs> so. Uh, I turned this down while we were waiting, and so it's it's kind of cooled on me, so I need to get it warm again all the way to the corners. And sometimes my, if my pan doesn't lay flat, I'll lay like a, a heavy cookie sheet on top of it, and that'll kind of flatten it down so that the entire surface of the pan is touching the griddle to evenly distribute that heat. Good morning, Miss Cynthia. How are you? You're up early, Miss Cynthia. You're in California. You're up early. Um, okay. I am going to roll up my sleeves. I probably should be wearing like an apron or something like that, but we're not. We're, we're winging it around here. That's the name of the game. <laughs> yes, Miss Angela. I see your comments. How are you? Good morning, Martha. Oh, Jacqueline. No, this is not my idea. Um, this is an idea that has been around for a long time. There's a million different ways to do it. I have just never tried it myself. I've been wanting to for a long time in some form or fashion, so we're giving it a go today. Good morning, Miss Sheila. How are you? Thank you, Rosa, for sharing us out. Miss D, are you on here? Good morning, sweet lady. Okay, I think what I'm going to do first, I'm going to take it and I'm just going to roll it, just like so. And I do have gloves. Now, keep in mind, the wax is going to be warm. So I'm going to take my fingers on the inside of that tube and let that be my holding point, okay? Dip it once, I'm gonna get a good coating on it. You're not gonna see a whole lot of difference right away, okay? What that wax is basically gonna do is just kinda seal it for us, give us a base coat, I think. I'm speaking like I really know, but I'm really just kinda like thinking it through as I go. <laughs> good morning, Miss Marlene. Uh, good rule, if it's smoking, it's burning. Okay, Miss Marlene, you sound like an expert at this. I'm gonna count on you. <laughs> I'm going to count on you. Uh, good morning, Miss Pat. How are you? It is Cindy Lou. How are you, sweet lady? Yes. Roll the toilet paper. Spray painted it. We're trying to get into an electric primitive grubby wax candle. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I know. I know. Y'all will see. I, I've not done this before, but I've seen it all over. So it's not my original idea. It doesn't take long for it to, to get on there. And there you go. You can kind of see that that sheen of that wax we're gonna go again roll it take your fingers in the roll and make sure that you get another coat on there. okay you see I can I'm taking my fingers and I'm, I'm using my fingers inside that roll to turn it okay all right now you're gonna get some sideways runs some streaks that's okay that's okay because we're gonna cover those up in a little bit we're gonna cover them up um, that's right. That's right, Miss Deborah. Just experimenting. That is a lot of the fun of crafting. You're right. Okay. Here's what we have so far with coat two. This wax will darken as it dries. You don't have to use black wax. Let me put that out there. In fact, if I had a choice, I would probably use a cream colored wax. But like I said, I'm trying to use up some of this, the things that I have in my stash and I already had this blackened beeswax. So that's why I'm using the blackened beeswax today. But in the future, if I get my hands on some more wax, we'll do a creamy version. We'll do a creamy version. Okay, I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do one more around the sides and then we're gonna skip to the top. I'm gonna make sure I get it on there good. All right, I'll pick it up this time and I'm gonna hold it this way. You see why glows are important, right? Oh my gosh, my nose, you guys. <laughs> Oh, a feather on my nose. Good morning, Miss Mary Beth. Oh, goodness, you guys. You didn't know we were going to be crafting with toilet paper today, did you? <laughs> That's what we have right now. It will continue to darken. Oh, my gosh. It will continue to darken. Um, what in the holy bathroom are you making? <laughs> That's right. That's right. 
Now, we're gonna take it and we're gonna dip this top. This is gonna be the top of our candle. We're gonna dip it in. And we're probably gonna do it two or three times as well. Do you see the dripping that we're getting? That's gonna be the start of layer two around this candle. You'll see how it goes. It doesn't take long for it to cool because you're putting a real thin coat on each time. So it doesn't take long for it to cool before you can apply the next dip. Okay. The wax is not super, super hot. So even if it drips on you a little bit on your gloves, it's not like it's gonna burn you. Um, hey, Miss Jenny. That, it doesn't, it, it's, it's going to look amazing. And if you use a white, a creamy wax, it would even look more like a, a true cake. Oh my gosh. We're going in for dip three. Uh-oh. I had something in my wax there. Look like a little berry or something that got in my wax. <laughs> Got that out. I'm gonna redip that since I have a little spot where that showed up. Okay. See what we're getting here. Good morning, Miss Sandy. How are you? That's looking pretty good. Now we're gonna let that cool for just a second. And the next thing I'm gonna get, let's see if we can set this down over here on our freezer paper. I don't want to stick my fingers on that wax because it's still it's still uh, you know what I mean, you know what I mean, right? <laughs> it's still soft and I don't wanna make any indentions on that. Good morning. The other side, okay, I started with a basic roll of toilet paper, you guys. So those of you that have jumped on after, basic roll of toilet paper and I spray painted it with some cheap black spray paint. If you are going, I, I spray painted mine black because I'm using blackened wax. I already had some in my stash and I need to use it up. Um, if you are using a different color, you can use cream colored wax, any color wax for that matter. You might want to put um, a different color of spray paint on your candle first, okay? If you're using cream colored, you can just use, you can just go straight forward and dip it right in and the white would be fine. Uh, but you can have different layers of color. Think about when you do like chippy paint or crackle paint. Some of that under layer may shine through. And so think of whatever you want your base color to be. Obviously, if you use a dark base color and a light wax, it's gonna take more coats for you to kind of get that waxy look. The best thing I can tell you is just to experiment, which is what we're doing today. <laughs> it was what we're doing today. But you can experiment with all kinds of different color combinations, okay? Uh, and there's a million and one different ways to do these too. So um, I'm, I'm kind of like hooked on this, and so I will probably will be doing more of these. <laughs> So, and it's something kind of easy that I can do right now when my house is kind of like all packed up. Um, it's not like packed in boxes, but I don't want to drag a lot of stuff out because my house is, you know, up for sale right now. So, I'm trying to like use up my craft supplies and not drag out a whole lot of stuff. And uh, so, this is probably something I may do again uh, in the next week or two, do another version of these. But uh, it's been something I've been wanting to try. Good morning, Miss Jamie. How are you? Good morning, Kristen. Okay. So... Here's what we have. It, it still looks like a toilet paper roll right now, but just hang with me, okay? I wanna heat this up just a little bit more. Um, the corners are, are getting a little or cool, so they're not melting all the way. So actually, you know what? I think I'll do this. I'm gonna take my metal pan. Um, I'm not gonna be able to do that yet, hang on. Let me pull these corners of wax towards the center. I wanna kinda pull this wax together in the center so I can dip some of it out. That's gonna be our next step is dipping some of this wax out and we're gonna drip it, uh, pour it rather, over our toilet paper roll. Okay. All right, now I will just tell you, wax can get messy so you might wanna use some utensils that you're okay throwing away afterwards or, or whatever, okay? So be warned, be warned. And I just dripped a little bit of wax over here on my griddle. So I'm gonna wipe that off while it's warm. Okay. Now I'm gonna take my pan very carefully, hopefully. You know what? I think if I just tilt it, I think we can do this. I think we can do this. All right, so I'm gonna lay this. We're gonna swap a little bit because I'm right-handed and I want to be able to 
take my wax and pour it over all with one smooth method here without dripping it everywhere so what I'm going to do are y'all ready for this I don't know if it's gonna work <laughs> Uh, yes, yes, we're staying in Kentucky, Victoria. Yes, about 20 minutes away. That we're, we're not moving far at all. You're eating breakfast, Miss Debbie. You were on super early this morning. I didn't get to watch every everybody this morning because I was kind of preparing last minute to do this. So I'll have to go back and see all of the prettiness that you guys made this morning. All right, I'm just taking this and I'm just going to pour so that some drizzles around the edge of my candle okay and I'm just gonna keep doing that and then I will tell you that my wax right now looks gray okay because it is still warm and as it dries it will be really black really black okay all right so before I do anything else let me show you um, well no that won't work either because I have cinnamon on it um, I'm going to take I'm going to take a measuring cup a glass measuring cup and I'm going to take an old fork okay an old fork that way if the wax doesn't come off of it I'm okay with it okay I'm going to actually I'm going to turn this up a little bit because I want these pieces to get really good and warm so let's hang on just a second tell you what I'll show you what I did earlier I'm gonna take this uh, cookie sheet that I had earlier I made cinnamon toast this morning so don't y'all judge if there's crumbs on there. <laughs> and I'm gonna set it on top of that pan and that'll hold in the heat because I want the rest of that wax to really melt down because I'm gonna pour it into my glass measuring cup here in just a minute Good morning, Miss Sarah. How are you? Good morning, Mary. Uh, homemade biscuits. Yum. Oh my gosh, I'm so jealous. That sounds so good. All right, so while this is heating back up, let me show you what else we're going to use on this. So you have seen me use these before. These little, um, I think they're called pigtail lights, okay? I don't know. Somebody told me that. I've never seen them described as that on like a package or anything. But where I see these is during the Christmas time where you have like the little lighted little village houses, the little Christmas village houses. Grab some of these. <laughs> Grab some of them. I use them for all kinds of things. So if you see this little jar candle right here, I use it. I've used them on those. I use them in my little um, faux tin can lights. Um, I've used them all over and they are so handy. But what I do is when I get one of these, I take this out and I swap it out, or you can silicone coat those yourself. I get these little silicone uh, coated light bulbs, okay? I like to grab mine at Joann's when they go on sale. I feel like that's the best, way, best place to get them. And I'm gonna pop that in there, okay? This is gonna be the center of our candle here in just a little bit, and I'll show you how we put it all together. But you can see, we're taking the toilet paper and we're gonna turn it into a faux candle, okay? All right, let's 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 take a peek and see if this is warm enough. Ah, see, that was like magic. <laughs> it's all good. All right, so very carefully, very carefully. <laughs> Does that scare you? <laughs> it scares me. <laughs> I'm gonna take this, is that warm? It is warm, let me get, uh, let me get another oven mitt. Um, very carefully, I'm going to pour this wax into my measuring cup, okay? And this is going to help me use all of my wax, you guys. I told you, see, I've been trying to use up some of these leftover craft supplies. And so, hopefully, this will help you guys out as well, okay? We're going to let that cool for just a second. I have a little speck of something in there. I'm gonna pull that out. We're gonna let that sit for just a second till it gets sort of like that little um, top coating of where you can tell it's starting to cool, okay? We're gonna let that cool for just a second. Now, right now, it looks like straight up wax. <laughs> We're gonna whip it. We're gonna whip it. 
you know what that makes me think of what does that make y'all think of <laughs> it does it make you think of something you're getting popcorn oh my gosh d oh, you're so funny you are so funny all right i'm going to slide this over for just a little bit we might need it again i'm not sure so i am going to leave it on but i am going to slide that over because we need some counter space here okay while that is kind of setting up okay let's turn it this way while this is kind of setting up i'm going to grab i've got i have a little uh, ripped piece of fabric okay i have some pip berries and then we might also use like a little bowl um or i have this these little cast iron pans from the dollar general i love these things i kind of use them to stage my little uh faux uh, pantry tarts and things like that um i'm gonna take this one out look at all that stuff in there let me dump this in the trash hang on um i want y'all getting y'all are getting a look at all of my dirty dust around the house okay so this is what i have now I would probably freshen this up with a quick coat of coffee grunge if I had time. But this is okay. They have all kinds of these little mini uh, cast iron pans, okay? Five bucks at the Dollar General. And my Dollar General, both of them that are close to me, usually have these. You just kind of have to know where to look. I think we're going to stage this candle in this with some putka pods, I believe. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Um, I want to take my fork. I'm so I'm not getting any surface on the top yet, so you know what I'm going to do? Very carefully. I don't know if I can reach. Y'all are going to come with me. We're going to set this in the freezer for a second. <laughs> We're going to set this in the freezer because I want to speed it along, and my cord is not going to reach that far. <laughs> it's not going to reach that far. I'm going to set it in the freezer for just a second, or maybe the fridge. The fridge might be just as well. Let's set it in the fridge. It won't take very long. <laughs> So let's chat. Y'all see my lights? Y'all see all my, my craziness behind me? Uh, good morning. Good morning, Miss Kim. How are you? Um, how are you? I can't believe you were able. Oh, my gosh. Well, you know, thank goodness. Thank goodness I didn't make a disaster. <laughs> we're going to let that sit in the fridge for just a second. I need it to get that hardness started on the top. And then we're going to start whipping it. Okay. And then we're going to kind of frost our candle, frost our toilet paper. <laughs> Uh, things are crazy around here hang on let me see if it's let me see if it's ready because it won't take very long um, no it's not ready yet it's starting to get a little bit of a rim on the inside of the measuring cup uh, a little bit of a hardness of the wax but I need some across the top yes the film on the top that's that's a good way to put it uh, I have a big kitten a big kitchen uh, looks can be deceiving it's not super big um, but we are we are cramped on space around here so we just kind of make do with what we got um, y'all might see my dirty dishes in the sink and all that jazz <laughs> my shoes my slippers y'all see my slippers <laughs> yeah we're just uh, we're just winging it today we're just winging it okay hopefully hopefully no it's taking some time let me show you you can see where it's starting to get it around the, the top around the rim and even around the sides but i kind of need it on the top i think we're going to have to stick it in the freezer or we're going to run out of time let me stick it in the freezer all right i'm sticking it in here carefully carefully <laughs> Crafting and comfort. There you go, Miss Rula. There you go. Uh, thank you so much. Real life. That's right. Real life. I mean, you know, it doesn't get any more real than that. <laughs> I'm surprised the dog's not like flopping through here. Or <laughs> that would be like real, real life. Um, you would just like to rent. Oh gosh, the comments. Rent space in my head. Oh my goodness, so funny. Um, there's no time for cleaning. Oh gosh, well. I tell you we've had to keep our house like top-notch cleaning like because we never know when someone might want to request a showing or that kind of thing so it's been cleaner <laughs> the last couple of weeks than probably it would normally which is a good thing um, but you know we still got craziness going on just regular life 
Excited to move or stressed or both? That would be both. <laughs> that would be both. Yes, both, both, both. Oh yeah, we're starting to get it on there. I'm starting to see a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it out because it might go ahead. I don't know. My lighting is not real great. You can see, let's head back over here. Here we go. <laughs> back over to the counter over here. All right, let me prop y'all back up over here. Sorry, I usually don't like moving the camera. I hope you're close your eyeballs or hold on to your eyeballs or something. <laughs> ah, here we go. Oh, wrong way, wrong way. Doo, 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 doo. There we go. Okay. Um, we, you know what, I'm going to turn this off because it's like, it's cooking me over here. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. Sorry about that. Hit the microphone. All right. It is starting to get a little bit of a skim on the top, but it probably still needs a little bit more to be honest, but we're going to go ahead and, we're going to go ahead and force it. And I'm going to start by scraping that outer edge off and we're going to start stirring and I can definitely feel on the bottom it's already starting to um, harden which is good you want a little bit of mix of both you want to mix with the hard and the liquid and you're just going to stir it okay you're just gonna stir it and you'll see okay what it's starting to do it's starting to coat up on my fork i'm just going to keep stirring it will potentially splatter so word of caution <laughs> hold it away from you okay uh oh see there we go it's because it kind of hangs on can you all see what i'm doing here i'm just stirring and it will take a it will take a couple of minutes okay what you're doing is you're kind of giving it a texture as it cools and so you're kind of tricking it you're kind of making it think well um okay i'm supposed to be hardening up but no she's wanting me to stay soft and so you're kind of tricking that wax into um, sort of a different texture here we go you can kind of see the skimminess do you see a little bit of that skimminess that's starting to settle on the top there that's what you want and that's the stage where you need to be working it um so we're going to work it we're going to keep going scraping the sides as we go because that hardened part of that wax that is hardening still needs to be kind of incorporated into the liquid as you stir okay see what we're we're getting okay kind of like a sludge <laughs> kind of like a sludge <laughs> uh good morning miss judy oh judy if i told you i don't know if you'd believe me <laughs> we are making uh well we're attempting to make rather um some toilet paper candles okay now the verdict is still out we still have uh, about eight minutes nine minutes to finish it so we'll see it's it's still going it's still going <laughs> it's it's starting to get there yeah it's a it's a process you don't want to kind of like rush it and there's a fine line of when it starts to get too hard and so um you kind of have to just roll with it and once you have a ratio you'll still have a liquid ratio the liquid to hard or the liquid to clumpy ratio is what you're looking for and whenever you get more of the clumpy texture versus the liquid candle wax then you're ready to start using it to coat your candle kind of looks like chocolate pudding uh, it kind of reminds me of like scrambled eggs like when you're making scrambled eggs you know how that kind of changes textures consistency as they cook um, and you'll kind of know when you start to get that scrambled look <laughs> And, and when it's still a little bit soft at the same time, uh, that's when you can start using it to coat your candle. And then you kind of have a short window. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. My consistency is just about right to start coating. Uh, good morning from Alabama, Miss Angela. Hey, Miss Lisa. So happy you're here too. I hope you'll have an amazing weekend. Uh, these Friday mornings at nine o'clock are, are starting, I think, are, are, are a good thing for me. A good thing for me and for you guys. So we might start doing every Friday morning at 9 a.m. How about that? It is. It's getting lumpy, which is good. Yep. Okay. We're going to test it out. Now, 
I have seen um, people use different different methods of applying this. Some use like uh, like a cheap paintbrush, like a chippy brush. I've seen some use a sponge. I've seen some use a spoon, a fork. Bottom line is there's a million different ways to do it. Just experiment and find what you like best. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put this on and then we're gonna add the embellishments and the light feature as well. I probably need two gloves. I took those off because my hands were like getting so hot in those. And I was like, oh, I need a fan. I need to stick myself in the freezer because <laughs> I'm like roasting over here by this, this hot griddle. Okay, you can see how much this has darkened since, um, since we put it on that wax, it's dark and it's, it, it's lighter, but it, as it dark, as it dries, it darkens. Okay. Now you would probably want to use, like I said, a different colored wax. I already had some blackened wax and I'm trying to use up. So that's why I went for a black one. Um, but we've dipped our toilet paper roll in there. Okay. And just set it down on this freezer paper to kind of sit. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this wax and this is this is hardened enough it's still warm but it's hardened enough that i can touch it without making a big imp indentions or anything i'm going to take it and i'm going to start coating my toilet paper roll with this wax okay um and you kind of have to move fast it's just sort of like doing a messy coating of frosting on a cake it's really all it is now mine looks gray because like I said, my wax is still warm and it's lighter and it will darken as it dries. But you kinda gotta speed along here because you've got a close, short time window here to get this on before your wax starts getting too warm and too, or too cool and hardens on you, okay? If it hardens, you can set it back on your griddle um, and let it reheat, okay? I'm not going to even worry about the bottom because the bottom is not going to be visible at all. Okay. If you want to seal it, you could do a real quick, just a dip of wax on the bottom if you wanted to, but that would make me a little nervous that it might stick to whatever I put it in. So I'm not going to do that. Okay. See what we got there. Now it looks pretty messy right now. It looks pretty messy. And it is kind of messy. Um, hang on. I want to sprinkle this with a little bit of cinnamon dusting while it's still damp. Okay. This is sort of going to be my take on a blackened beeswax candle, sort of. Okay. Black wax and cinnamon just go together with that when it comes to primitive style. And I want to put that on there while that wax is still damp. Now, we still got a little bit of wax left. I think it's going to be just enough to do the top. So let's put it on there and let's spread it around and see what we get. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is going to be awesome. Okay. Now, can you see what this would look like if you had um, creamy colored wax or uh, maybe brown wax, make it look like a, a big cinnamon roll <laughs> or something like that. That would be absolutely amazing. Okay. Now, like I said, this is not my idea. It's been around forever, you guys. I was seeing some ideas that were back from like the early 2000s when, um, you know, creatives, crafters were doing something similar to these. There's a million different ways to do them. So, um, this is just a perfect example of using what I had on hand to make something similar, okay? Now, I am gonna kind of go around the edges and I'm gonna kind of make sure that they are kind of, uh, I don't want a hard edge to like that toilet paper, so I'm gonna kind of like round it off, if you will, kind of uh, like a cake would sort of be rounded around the edge, okay? I do wanna kind of take my wax and make sure that I go down in, I'll make sure you guys can see this, down in that little toilet paper tube, okay? Now, if I get too much down in that tube, I can always cut it out later, but I don't want my little candle light to be super visible, and I'll show you that here in a little bit. So, 
there we go I'm gonna sprinkle on some cinnamon now you can soften the texture of this really easily okay once that wax kind of has a chance to start cooling you can take some wax paper and roll it around the edges okay and kind of soften the indentions on it um, or you can take your hands and while it's still warm um, just apply a little bit of pressure and that will help soften some of those dips okay it's it's all a personal preference on on how you want it to look okay <clears throat> what you can also do you can also layer in some little chunks I did not have enough wax to do some little crumbles sort of making it look like a true cake with some little crumbles you can also do a different colored wax and make some crumbles we'll probably do that on another episode too um, because like I said I'm kind of hooked on these make some little uh, wax crumbles or uh, some little um, faux pecans or something like that oatmeal and uh, put that on the top and sort of have like a little uh, crumble cake if you will okay so like I said, there's all kinds of things that you can do with these. Okay, now I know mine looks funky because I'm using the black wax <laughs> and it's gray because it's still warm, okay? But you guys will not believe when this dries, it will be black wax. So it'll look like a blackened beeswax candle, okay? Which is super popular with primitive style decor. But don't let that stop you. Use any color wax that you have. Chalk paint chalk paint on what Angela I might clarify what you're asking um, chalk paint on the toilet paper I think would be too wet and you would probably get a soggy mess if that's what you're asking I just used a quick coat of spray paint on the outside okay now mine's going to continue to dry and it's going to darken and once that wax darkens you're really going to be able to see the cinnamon coating on it okay and I might even see if I get some more wax I might make some little faux like cake crumbles to put in there okay so here comes the fun part <laughs> oh my gosh we're running short on time we got like two minutes okay I'm gonna take this little pigtail light that I was telling you about and I'm going to run it up through the center okay I have to be careful because my wax is still warm and I'm gonna bring it out the top <laughs> is that not amazing okay I'm gonna bring that out the top and probably what I'll do is while that wax is still warm, I'm gonna mold it down in there in that little um, in that little cubby, okay? This is going to light up. I'm gonna embellish it with a little uh, rag ribbon, a rag bow, and a little star, so, and some pip berries. Do you see how amazing this is? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it, I love it. I'm gonna put it in this little cast iron pan, maybe, if it fits without, I may have to I have another cast iron pan around here somewhere I'm gonna put it in this I'm gonna dress it up with some little putka pods around it I'm gonna tie this rag bow around it when it dries my wax has to cool and then put some pit berries around it is that not gonna be amazing oh my gosh you guys I love it I love it I forgot to mention that my wax is scented I had put some uh, pumpkin spice candle oil scent oil in my wax the last time I used it and so um, it's gonna smell amazing. It's gonna smell amazing. I love this project, you guys. I wanna see you, if you make one of these, I wanna see how you do it, okay? I wanna see the pictures of it. You can share it over to the Craft on the Clock group, or you can share it into my decorating group, uh, Decorating with My Sweet Home Living. Either one of those or both of the places is fine. I wanna see if you make one of these. It's awesome. I'm gonna finish this up after the wax cools and take a photo for you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. We have some more crafters lined up for the rest of the afternoon over in the Craft on the Clock group. I'll see you soon, guys. Have a great weekend.